welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Finally, I'm, Jimmy Fallon. I mean, I'm so happy you're here. I, you know, I, I saw you, I met you once before, and if you remember this, you did a duet with Michael Bublé. Yeah, a subtle little number with an unknown singer called Michael Bublé. Yeah, <laughs> and you ripped the roof off the place. You were phenomenal. I'm like, <laughs> you can sing? That's my proper job. I know it did, <laughs> but you can sing, by the way. Thanks, Holy thanks, moly, you're fantastic. It, uh, how did you uh, get that talent? Was it mom or dad? Or... Yeah, my, I mean, I kind of come from a long line of opera singers. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> yes. My opera mom, singer. yeah, my mum was a principal at Covent Garden before I was born, the Royal Opera House. Wow. And then she's been at the London Coliseum for like 30 years. But both her parents were also opera singers. So whenever my mum has come to see me do a West End show, she'd be like, are you looking after your voice? <laughs> yeah. Sounds wow. like you're shouting. Wow, what a yeah. talented family. Yeah, yeah. Do you I mean, think every great. family was this talented? Like, would you go yeah. to a friend's house well, and be like, st yeah. your parents don't sing? Yeah, your parents go to and do what? <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. They, um, when I was little, I literally, like, from the age of eight, I'd be there sitting in the auditorium of theatres and just, like, soaking it all up. And I genuinely thought that all people's parents worked in the theatre. Yeah. Because I had, like, no frame of reference, really, you, you know? Just grew up in the theatre. Yeah, they used to be, like, round in the dressing rooms and saying hello to, the, like, the, the attendants in the toilet. They'd be like, oh, hi, Hannah. No way. Yeah, just so wandering you around. you really lived in there. Because it was that era where you just could. So you did, you know, like going up to the dressing room and, yeah, just beautiful So times. are you kind of... I mean, there's two things that I want to talk to you about, or three things, but you're hosting the Olivier Awards, which is the no biggest... Pressure. yeah. I mean, It's like our Tonys. Who... Exactly. It's yeah, and I'm family. always getting on my soapbox about how people in theatre around the world should be on screen more, you know, cos they are the ones that really, really want to do it because it's not for the money. Yeah. They just want to play great roles. So yeah. I think I've been so vocal, they're just like, yeah, get her, she's gobby. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that. Yeah, you are good. But then you're also co-hosting the Eurovision Song Contest. I mean... Is... Do you get it here? We Do you get the Eurovision we, Song Contest we here? We don't really, but we know it, it is. It is an event, man. I think the... It is an event. No, it's massive. I mean, the world the watches viewers. it. Everyone but America watches it. Yeah, it's, it's like insane. Very interesting. And all the countries, they're an absolute bunch of lunatics. Yeah. The songs that they come out with, I'm like, wow, that... No, but <laughs> that they're, and they're all going for like it. like a good idea in the mirror, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's a big deal, but I'm like, uh, I think I want to say ABBA was... Uh, was yeah, they were discovered. Discovered, there. right? Right. From from this contest, right. so it's a lot of pressure on but I'm you. I'm so chuffed because Graham Norton and I, who I know we both love, I love Graham Norton. Yeah, he and I are doing the final. You know, good evening, uh, Portugal. Wow. You know. Are you excited? The France gives a deux points. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God, I can't wait. Uh, let's talk about Ted Lasso, uh, season three. You're yeah. phenomenal. You are phenomenal in this. Uh, uh, and season three came out, and I saw Jason was talking about it, and that people were kind of assuming it might be maybe the final season. We don't know. No, no. What he said, it's like the natural end of a three-season arc. That... So there was a beginning, a middle, and an end. Well, that means... Of this. Who we don't even know. I, do you know what's really good that I genuinely don't know? Because they know that otherwise I'll be like... Put the, put the, oh, whoops, yeah, crazy. yeah, whoops, yeah. yeah. Oh, so it might not be the Might final. not be. Oh, OK, good. We don't know. We genuinely don't know. I didn't know I this. don't think Jason even knows, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, he yeah, needs yeah. to be in a dark room and just go... Yeah, 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 yeah. Just for a minute, you know? Uh, I, I, everyone loves it, and gosh, it came at a time when we all needed it. Oh, it was God, yeah. Us positive, too. and it was just so great. Yeah. And, and honestly, it was like chicken soup for uh, us Americans. Those yeah. writers, that writer's room, man, yeah. they have supplied well chicken done. soup for the world. I agree, yeah. That's a good... I totally agree. Uh, being in it, do, do, do you do you love Ted as much as everyone loves Ted? And like, do, do you hear him like when you're doing things? You're like, oh yeah, Ted Lasso would do this. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know what? I kind of have always prided myself on being a little bit like that anyway. And I was thrilled when the show was such a success because it was celebrating kindness and being funny rather than just roasting everyone and being snippy and bitchy and funny. You yeah, know. Yeah. So I kind of loved it. But the thing for me has always been, you know, his line when he's in the locker room and he just goes onward forward. I love that because you need to move forward from the bad times but also not get caught up in yourself in the good times yep. as well. Onward, forward. So onward, forward, always. I oh. love that. It always, it always kind of stays head. with me, yeah. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip.
Here's Hannah Waddingham and Juno Temple in Ted Lasso. Oh Take a look God, at this. Oh, my God! Rupert must just be so happy right now. Who's really gotten stuck in your head these days, huh? No. I mean, yes, but he's not stuck in the same way he used to be stuck. I mean, back then, I wanted to destroy everything Rupert loved and owned and coveted. Ultimate gangster move. Legend. And admittedly, that was me back then. But the me now doesn't feel the need to destroy Rupert's life. No, the now me just wants to beat him. To win. That's growth, right? Sure. Yeah! <laughs> Hannah Waddingham, everybody! <laughs> Season three of Ted Lasso premieres Wednesday on Apple TV+. Plus. We'll be right back with a performance from Twice. Stick around! Hey, hey.